Connect the vehicle and the diagnostic equipment. Turn on the ignition. I'm connected to a truck and I can see it has some faults. Start the SDP3 software. Click checking to read vehicle data and fault codes. It takes about 10 minutes to read this data. Here you see that we've got a list of the electronic control units that are on this vehicle. So amongst them compressed air supply, brake management system transmission, sister and engine management system, suspension control system, so there's a number of different things here. There that's quite similar throughout a lot of vehicles, there's a gearbox management system there as well. You see on the left hand side that we've got red triangles, next to some of those ones, now. It's it on the dash that we have a suspension control fault. You can see here displayed at the moment we have the actual fault code itself. It looks like it's coming from a suspension, one is SMS, that SMS system EC, as that's the suspension control system. So I'm just going to use this little drop down box here. It tells me it's in the control system. And we can see it got a power supply switch is sensors and solenoids. A pressure sensor fault here. It tells me the code of it. So it's T70, it's telling. Here that we've got the code, that's in the SMS system. The fault code number this one, SMS405, that will correlate to a particular fault. That we could either look up on an online manual, or in this case, it will actually display it to us when we click on it. The next heading tells us whether it's active or inactive. Seeing as there's a symbol there, it tells me it's an active FOB. So the fault's happening right at this moment in time, it then tells me whether it's a primary or secondary fault. This is quite a good little feature basically, what it's telling me is is this fault here in this system, or is it in another system? So a primary fault number 1 means the fox in this system it's got its log to the time. It looks like I need to change the date of this vehicle, and it then tells me the number of times that it's happened. So how many times is this fault occurred? and at the moment it's only occurred once some vehicles. It has a heading so it actually tells me what that fault code says. So this code at the beginning I don't have to look it tells me what it is. It says it's the sensor signal from pressure sensor for left hand side of driving axle again. Now if I click on it on this piece of software I get a description over on the right hand side. So it tells me about the fault Tasman or ill should be seeing on the on the system. So I should be seeing between 0.15 and 0.37s of a volt air from the sensor. It tells me what the cause could be, so it could be an open circuit in the cable harness or it could be the pressure sensor itself down on. SO just check the wiring check the sensor in this case. Also a little note there and says when the sense is renewed then the control system must be calibrated as well. So you put it, you replace the sense, if you replace the sensor, if that's what the fold is you do, then have to carry out some tests or some calibrations.